Next up, um, and Tanya sort of partly done my job by introducing Julie, but I'm going to go through because I think um, she deserves to have a full introduction. Julie has been a director of the Sustainable Seas um, since the beginning of the challenge. Uh, she has a background in both uh, marine and freshwater biology, foc focusing on microbial food webs. Prior to becoming the director of the challenge, uh, she was the regional manager of NEWA uh, here in Wellington. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big Wellington welcome to Julie. Thank you, Pahia and Kia ora. It's fantastic to see you all here and for us all to be able to get together. This is our third attempt at getting together for this conference, so um, we, I'm sure we will all make the most of it. I want to look at what we've achieved over the last eight and a half years, and it's been a very fantastic eight and a half years. Many of you have been involved since the beginning. We've had over 300 researchers involved in the challenge, biophysical researchers, economists, social scientists, policy, law, Maturanga Māori experts. We've brought all of those people together. And that's brought together 65 different organisations. Really importantly, we've had over 200 co-development partners involved in our projects as well. And they bring so much value to the research that we have done and will continue to do so over the next uh, 16 months of the challenge. So we've had 75 research projects and we are now moving, as Tanya said, into our synthesis phase and we have 14 of our synthesis projects already underway. In terms of our outputs, our scientific papers are at the heart of what we do and that's often where science stops. But with the National Science Challenges, it's different. That's the beginning of the story and the journey. We need to then take that research and make it accessible and usable. Developing guidance and frameworks, tools from that research, and then disseminating that. We have webinars. We've had over 350 presentations since 2020. So it doesn't stop with the scientific papers. In terms of impact, and I've just pulled a number of examples here. We've been quite active in the policy space. We've had significant input into the resource management law reforms, both in working with people uh, with those, um, le that legislation, but also submitting written and oral submissions based on the research, what's the best research that feeds into our new legislation. We've had input into MFE's environmental reporting on the marine environment. How can we do that better? We've worked with MPI. They're identifying habitats of significance for fisheries. Our science has fed into that. And our Māori team has been very active in interacting with cent particularly central government. How do we bring Mataranga Māori to the table? How do we bring that knowledge base into our thinking, into our policy, and into our decision making. Other examples is the co-development of um, tools being picked up by iwi and hapu, by educational institutions. We're seeing co-funding come in alongside our projects from different organisations. They see the value that they can add to the work we're already doing. We've had a number of awards to our researchers showing the high quality of the work that's been done. And we've had partners actively wanting to join the challenge because they see the benefit of the work we're doing. So that's the last eight and a half years, but we still have 16 very important months to go. And I want to go back to the beginning. This was the objective that the Science Sustainable Seas was set by Minister Joyce and it has an economic and an environmental component to it. We need to be able to bring those two perspectives together. And right at the beginning of the challenge, what we identified was the need to have healthy marine ecosystems and a strong blue economy. We're going to be talking a lot about blue economy today, and it's not just things that happen in the marine environment. 
its activities that are productive in terms of business, but also contribute socially, culturally, and environmentally. It's a change in thinking about the way we do economy. And at the centre of that is ecosystem-based management. That is a mechanism to enable us to achieve healthy ecosystems and a strong blue economy. So a lot of our research that we've been undertaking is how do we get healthy ecosystems, how do we develop a blue economy, and how do we modify our management system to go to a holistic approach to marine management with ecosystem-based management. When we started the challenge, we identified some long-term outcomes. We all agree that we need to improve the health of our seas. We have a lot of degraded marine ecosystems at the moment. So that's number one. We want to enhance the blue economy. We want to empower mana moana. And we want to improve decision making using an ecosystem-based management approach. Those are those long-term outcomes that are going to occur post June 2024 when the challenge ends. But that's what we're aiming at. To achieve that, as Tanya mentioned, we need to bring it all together, ensuring that we are greater than the sum of the individual projects. And as researchers, we generally stop at the end of the project. We publish our paper, we maybe pass it on to others, but we stop. We don't bring things together. And this is a real challenge. It's a different way of thinking, and it's going to be challenging for all of us. We need to be thinking about the outputs we're going to be producing from our synthesis. They've got to hold value for our Māori partners and stakeholders. We've got to be producing actionable knowledge, things that actually can make a difference. We've got to tailor that information for audiences. Different audiences are going to want different things for that information. We've got to make it easy for people to use. It needs to be accessible and user-friendly. We need to be able to use it at different scales. We operate at a national scale, a regional scale, and a local scale with our legislation and management. How do we bring those scales together? How do we use tools across those scales? And the other challenge sits outside this room. We've got to be able to roll this out past the researchers and our direct co-development partners to have that long-term impact. So it's great to have our co-development partners involved, but we need to be able to pass that information on and those new ideas and new ways of doing things. We also, as a challenge, need to leave a legacy. So we need to be creating pathways and momentum to reach those four long-term outcomes. We need to be able to pass the torch from the groups that are doing the research and doing the synthesis to those that will carry it forward. That might be our students, our early career researchers, but it's also people, central and gov regional government with iwi. We need to make sure that everything we've done is easily accessible going forward. It's no point in having it locked up in the grey literature and nobody can find it. That's a challenge for us. We need to be providing exemplars of how to do ecosystem-based management, how we can transition to a blue economy, how we can draw Tao Māori approaches into the work that we're doing. And along the way, we need to be developing capability in the research community with our Māori partners and stakeholders. We've got a great number of examples of this where we've had PhD students that have come through the challenge. They've been postdocs. They're now in industry. They're now in regional and central government. They're going to take that information and that knowledge they have forward. So how do we relate this to the conference? The aims of the conference to demonstrate the impact of our research for researchers and co-development partners to gain a greater understanding of the challenge. Many of you have been involved in maybe one or two projects. You maybe have a general perspective with what else has been done in a similar project, but you don't have all the pieces. So the conference is about enabling you to access all of those pieces, because if we don't have that, it's very hard 
to do that synthesis and draw it all together. And we also want you to be participating in informing our synthesis activities. The next 16 months are going to be really challenging for all of us, and we, all, we want you all to be working together towards those long-term outcomes. So over uh, the next three days, there's going to be a range of presentations given that will be giving you the information from the projects that have been undertaken. We're going to have panel discussions, people bringing ideas from outside the challenge into the room to challenge us, talk about what they see for the future. We're going to have Q&A sessions of our speakers and our panel members. That's an opportunity you to be asking those thorny questions. What do we do about this? What does this mean for us? Encourage you to discuss those ideas with others. I challenge you to make connections. Set yourself a goal of the number of people you don't know you're going to talk to each day. We need to build those networks. And I encourage you to have discussions with the leadership team about the work you've been doing, about connections you see, what you would like to see to come out of synthesis. All the leadership team have blue name tags, so they're easy to find. We sent out to all of you last week a, a brief about one of our synthesis activities. And this is a piece of work that we intend to do to take key lessons and recommendations around particular topics. We've identified eight potential topics through the leadership team. And we listed all of those in that document with a very short brief on each one. What we need from you is feedback. As a researcher, where we might, you might contribute to this, as a co-development partner, would this be useful to me? In what form would that be useful to me? So those are some questions to think about around those topics. And we've made it really easy for you. This poster's downstairs. And there's post-it notes. And there's pens. So we'd like you to look at those topics and put your ideas down on post-it notes. And that might be, love this topic, this is what I'd like to see. Don't see this topic as being useful, but you might want to think about this topic over here. We want you to be an active part of identifying the synthesis, the key topics we're going to look at, key recommendations from. And also, I would really like to be involved in this one. I think I can bring this to the table. Or you might have somebody else you want to dob in and you think they should be at the table. We'd like that too. So over the next three days, we want to celebrate the hard work and success that we've all had. We want you to reconnect with each other. It's been a long time. But also connect with people you haven't connected with before. The challenge is about interdisciplinary, transdisciplinary research. It's about bringing all those disciplines together and working with our co-development partners. That's about collaboration. It's about discussion. Provide input to the synthesis activities. Use those post-it notes downstairs. Talk to the leadership team. And most of all, let's celebrate our passion for the marine environment and have some fun. Thank you very much.